your hard now comes in play. So here, their on mark, like I said earlier, before the uh, before this very moment, is 100 by 100, which is equal to ratio 1 is to 1. Now, here is my point. In a situation, in a real-life situation where you need to add thinner and also add hardener, the three, three of these materials to come together in order to be able to make a very good mixture, how do you intend to use this very mark here, this very uh, two is to one here to achieve that? It is impossible. You're going to do a mistake. That's the reality there. So, and in respect to that, that is why it's very, very much idealistic to do your own paint uh, missing cup. Then the number two thing there is this paint cup, this is disposable. So you can actually use it multiple times and it doesn't have any cover. So a lot of things are going to be falling inside. So that's another second thing, second factor why it is uh, not very suitable for me. It can be suitable for any other, any other person, a beginner or some person like that. But for, for me, I don't find it very suitable because one, it do get full quickly. So by any mistake, if you hold it very strong, it's gonna it's gonna pour out. The number two, it doesn't have cover. When you finish mixing the paint, if suppose you're doing a very long, uh, I mean you you have a, a much work to do, and you don't want to keep mixing and stirring because it's actually creates a, a time. It creates a downtime when you are painting a car, especially when you have just 20 minutes flash time to add another coat you don't need this kind of a small cup it's too small so you're going to be needing something big so even if you get something bigger than this it's not bad now let me uh go on to how to be able to understand correctly the missing ratios before i go further just one last time the only ideal applic application that can be able to combine these three the activator the clear coat as much as the thinner is this guy right here this very scale right here this that's uh, on the mill now let me explain to you then after that explanation then i can go on to showing you how to make one of yours and tell you the advantage of this one over this disposable disposable cup so here let's say that i want to uh i want to mix uh i want to mix a clear code that I'm gonna be using to do my finishing all right that is where this mark is very very important aside every other mark around here you can't use any other mark around here except for base coat except for uh, for prime but for for primer but when it comes to clear coat this is the only ideal uh, mark that you can be able to use and let me explain so here I want to make I want to I want to actually mix it so the first place I'm going to hit, in as much as I want it in a large quantity, is I'm going to be hitting this 300 mil. Now when I hit 300, this 300 mil with my clear coat, I pour my tre, uh, clear coat 300 mil. Let me get to you right there. Let me, let's be much more practical than... Okay, let's just, uh, let me use water to explain what I'm saying here so that it can be very, very understanding. Okay, you can see right here, but here, we we'll still have some little bit more. You have to keep this on a very flat surface to be able to take the measurement correctly. I can't keep my, there is no way I can be able to keep my camera right here without uh, creating some little interference. So, now... The area where this cup hits, it's bent though, all right? So if I keep it on a flat surface, let's keep it on a flat surface and see where it is. So it is it is a little bit higher than the normal that it's supposed to be. That's why it is not idealistic to hold it by hands while measuring it because it's gonna give you an error scale. So when you put it on the ground like this, let me reduce a little bit more. Okay, now we just about 300 mil so the next one which you're gonna be adding here 
that's why which i said that it is not idealistic to use the other side let's say the next one we're going to be adding is thinner so i go up i'm going to add the thinner and take it all the way to 450. And that's it. That's 450 right there. And when you get to this 450, I know that the next one that is going to be remaining for me to add into this is my activator. So I'm going to get my activator. And I add it up to 600 mil right here. And it's done. All right. So at this level that it is right now, I cannot take something and stir it and stir it very well. Now the question, now the big question comes with, what if, now when you pour it into the cup, the, uh, the, paint, uh, the paint gun cup, which is supposed to be on top of here, there's gonna be leftover. That leftover, what are you gonna do to protect it while you're busy painting the car? Because you don't have to uh, distract yourself so much when you are busy trying to be focused. So that is why I say this cannot be somewhat idealistic, except if you have to pour it all inside. But if you have some leftover there, you might while concentrating hit it and it will fall or even splash on the car. So that's why I say sometimes the disposable cup is not idealistic. And here again, this is the only scale that can be able to use. We can be able to use to measure the clear coat correctly because this is the right uh, measurement of the clear coat, the thinner as much as the hardener. Now let me get this water off. Okay. Why? Uh, why uh, using this? Uh, on how to use this very cup here, on how to use the cup to actually create your own uh, mixing uh, material. There is something you have to understand. And this is where the, the, uh, the, the, the mite or what are the meats uh, have to be removed. The mystery have to be removed. So on a transparent material like this, you need a masking tape to mask it from here and make sure that it's vertical like this and you cut okay when you cut it now this is where you get your kitchen knife sorry about the joker where the mom has to get a knife to defend the daddy sorry defend herself which daddy doesn't like i hope you're not allergic to seeing something like this okay so with this uh kitchen knife this is set up for the first use. You're gonna be needing a bottle like this. It doesn't matter the size, all right? In order for you to cut it to make the mixing cup, which is supposed to be using to mix any paint material. Now I'm going to get that, get into that real quick for a while. Now, one thing I need you to understand here is there is a math which I did here before, which I, I want to do again. If that say is ratio one is to one, which is the same thing as 100 by 100, still the same thing as 50 by 50, same thing as 20, by 20 in as much as they are giving you the same figure that you have on the left on the same right it is 50 50 it is known as one is to one so get that uh, clear and if you don't understand what it means is let's say that this is your your thin or this is your base coat and it's to be mixed 50 50 it has to be equal this one has to be equal to this before you mix it together to get this that's if suppose you are just mixing your base coat. So you have one part of base coat here, you have one part of thinner here. In as much as it's written that it has to be 50-50, like you see here, 100-100, which is ratio one is to one, as you can see here. All right, 100 by 100. Now, 
in creating the cup which is the main video of uh, the main uh thing be uh, behind this video today is you have a big cup here this cup is good the reality why this cup is good is most of them even come with cover so when you make it and you have a, a long a big project to do you can actually let's say two times the size of this so where you don't have to distract yourself into going to stir very well and mix again and paint and mix again you have to mix it once and cover it all right when you mix it once and cover it you're not gonna leave it for the next day in as much as you want to use it that same day is okay for that very moment it's okay so all we're trying to do is to save you time so you, you don't keep going back and forth and coming to mix and mix and mix. So if you have up to three of these, that's gonna be fine. So let's say they are big, uh, like uh, two, time, uh, two times the size of this. You have it in three forms. You have your primer mixed and you cover it. You have your base coat mixed, you cover it up. You have clear coat mixed and you cover it up. Now in using of this one here, you can be able to understand this scale without using this one. So here, the first I'm going to be doing here is when I say that the size doesn't matter in the first place, uh, I hope the women who are watching this don't get to start to feel like, oh, it, he's, he's saying shit. Size doesn't matter here. So in as much as you know that it can be able to contain here, no problems. 